bangers and mash. Popular British meal, and that's the kind of day we've had here at Bristol. Gets that go good with Bud. Aerial coverage from our Bud Cam. High in the sky, you see the shaded back straight away as the sun moves across Bristol. And the sun is a welcome sight after the spring we've had in Winston Cup racing. Released from the care center, Ward Burton. Kyle Petty being checked over. We hope to have an update. Dale Jarrett back in the race with his battered car. And let's pick up a little audio between Jimmy Fennig and Kurt Busch. You know, uh, Kurt, tire wear looks awesome. Uh, you're not even aware of these bricks. And fourth, just uh, the air build. What does the air build look like? We've been building towards the tide. And four of these yellows will just ride this thing out the way we need it to. And what Jimmy Finning's telling Kurt Busch is, you know, we're staying on the agenda. We're not coming to pit road leading this race. And he's looking at the air pressure buildup. It must be building more in the right front of the left rear, showing the cars pushing, Dick Bergren. Well, just before you heard that transmission, the transmission was that the car is free everywhere. So build it toward tight. That's exactly what they want. They're saying that the car is reacting well to changes. They like it so much, they're going to take it to Dover. As Kurt Busch, the leader, heads to the green flag. Man, that's optimistic. Yeah. We still got 75 laps to go here, 70 laps to go. And uh, they're thinking about taking that car to Dover. I didn't want to get it out of here first. Bill Bill Russell Elliott. Wallace in that two car, he went to the inside the minute they crossed the start finish line, picked him up a couple of positions. Up there trying to get his lap back. Well, there's a bunch of guys, you know, that are really going to be pressing the issue right now. Trying to get back on that lead lap. I mean, that can make all the difference in the world. It's go or go home time at Bristol. Actually, Rusty Wallace is trying to get one of two laps back. And those cars got two laps down by making pit stops under green. And a caution flag came out before that round of pit stops was completed. Right now, our top three cars the way they're running, Kurt Busch in the 97, Bobby Bonney in 18, Ricky Rudd in the 21. They are first, second, and third. The fourth car, Jimmy Spencer, is two laps down. One of those cars made that green flag stop. The fourth place car in the race is Matt Kenseth, along with Greg Biffle and Sterling Marlin, who just pitted. Those are the cars on the lead lap. Steve? Mike, just before the caution for Kyle Petty's wreck, Ricky Rudd was telling crew chief Pat Tryson, the car pushes a little bit on a short run, and then eventually St. Patrick's Day, but Ricky Rudd has had a leprechaun on board all day long. We have seen him dodge countless wrecks in front of him. Yeah, Tony Stewart went right up over the top of him or over on the back straightaway earlier today, but it uh, looks like the car's in pretty good shape right now. You know, it has a little bit of damage, Darrell, but you know, they're running fast here, but if there's a place that, that arrow does not mean that much, it would be here at Bristol, especially I'll take, when you're in race trim. I'll take a car with a little bit of damage right now. <laughs> Spencer, who is trying to get a lap back, and Wallace going after Rudd. Rudd has 50 Bristol starts, 10 finishes of second or third. Still looking for his first win here. And Kevin Harvick in the 29, he just wants one back. That's all he needs to get back on the lead lap. Yeah, he was lucky. He got one back there. Just Workout before that he caution came out, he got everybody in trouble. Matt Kenseth in the 17, right behind him. He's going to pass Ricky Rudd for third place. Rudd cannot keep his car down right now. Jimmy Johnson, a lap, one lap down, goes past Rudd. Jimmy Johnson in eight. Six cars on the lead lap. Seven more, one lap down. Followed by about six more, two laps down. Boy, Matt Kenson, he just gave, he gave cut Kevin Harvick a little shot down in turn one just a second ago. It worked. Man, I'm on the lead lap. It worked. Let me out of here. Jeannie is with Ward Burton.
Johnny and then Kenseth, 3.3 seconds off the lead. And 50 laps to go. This is where patience starts losing some letters. It's all over now. If you got anything, you better use it. Now Ricky Rudd sliding back just a little bit. He's now 4.7 seconds away from leader Kurt Busch. And Greg Biffle is going to be right in his mirror. And what we have to remember, Greg Biffle has a lot fresher tires than Ricky Rudd because Greg Biffle pitted just the last time the caution was out. And here comes Biffle, who was overheating uh, two caution flags ago. Here you see Dale Jarrett. He's back out there again in that 88 UPS car just trying to make laps. Right now, he's 102 laps down, and it's hard to get out of the way. Last car on the lead lap, Sterling Marlin. Seven seconds off the lead. He's got new tires as well. Yeah, and the guy that's really done, had a, a really good day is uh, Kenny Wallace. I mean, he's sitting there in ninth place. Uh, yeah, he's a lap down, but uh, he's had a great run and runs in the top ten. That's a good effort for he and Philippe. But, but Daryl, they're so equal here. Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Greg Biffle. Last lap, every one of them ran in the 1630s. All five cars. Well, as we said at the top of the day, the practice sheet showed the fastest lap for cars in positions 1 through 40, only two tenths apart, and despite all the on-track carnage, little has changed. Yeah, and I was worried about Biffle, because we saw he was running hot, and I didn't think he got enough water in the thing, but uh, it seems like it hadn't hurt his performance. He's right on the back bumper of Ricky Rudd. That'll be for fourth place. Let's go to Biffle's pit. Well, last Biffle came in again, Mike, on that last caution flag, and the crew worked feverishly on the front end of the car. What had happened is the hood and the grill work had closed in. That's why the car was running hot. They pulled it all out and put four fresh tires on it. And Biffle's out there, and he is having the best run of his entire Winston Cup career today. This is the kind of racetrack that you'd expect him to run well on. I mean, he grew up on little tracks like this in California. So uh, little bull rings like this should be right up his alley. But you know what, guys? They missed the show at Las Vegas, and I'm telling you, we got a battle for the lead shaping up with Kurt Busch and Bobby Labonte. They missed the show at Las Vegas, Greg Biffle, and they have been on a tear ever since then. Brought a brand new race car here, and they're having a third good run in a row. Up front, Bobby Labonte goes after Kurt Busch. Labonte's only short track victory. Martinsville, Virginia, last April. He's going to want to run that purple car every week. He looks so much better through the center of the corner than Kurt Busch right now. I think it's, what do you think old Fatback's doing right now? I don't know. I asked him this morning, I said, how's your race car, Fatback? He said, you just watch old Fatback. There's Michael McSwain. He's watching it right now. Look at that. Calm, cool, and collected. You came by my motorhome last night, Larry. Had two big plates of food. I said, you got company? He said, nope. <laughs> Larry and Darrell have been sitting there watching these leaders get ready to look like they're going to do battle. But all along, teammate from Kirk Bush right now, Matt Kenseth, is on his move. I mean, he's been clipping it off about two-tenths a second, gaining on these leaders. If they go to racing one another, he's going to be right there. As we see right now, Greg Biffle has got around the 21 car of Ricky Rudd, and that moves him up to fifth place. Biffle, a little bump and run on Ricky Rudd to take the spot. I wonder, Darrell, if Bobby Labonte is sitting there in second place, right off Kurt Busch's bumper, thinking a little too early to try too hard right now. I think it's, uh, you know, we've seen it come down to last two or three laps and who gets, uh, who's in the lead and always who's going to win the race. It's just like Bobby, yeah, yeah. we talked a second ago, he can just run his car a little bit lower, right there, especially on the exit of the corner, about a half a lane lower than Kurt, but Kurt chops him back off as they hit the straightaway, but tons of lap traffic in front of him, Darrell. Uh, so Bobby will be patient here for a little bit. He's a very, very cautious driver. He's very patient. He will not make his move until the time is right. He catches, uh, he catches Kurt up here in traffic now and gets him out of position. He'll probably pounce on him. But this is where you got to be patiently aggressive. And that means sit there, wait, 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 and wait for that guy to open the door so you can go through. Let's have a look at the bump and run between Greg Biffle and Ricky Rudd that caused fourth place to change hands uh, just a couple of laps ago. Biffle had, had been...